Hi everyone, and in this tutorial we were going to be going over how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox. The first thing that we need to do is select the English language, the correct time and currency format, which all these are English, English, US for me, and your keyboard type or input method. So you can customize those and then click Next. And now we can click install now and it will install the system. So we'll click that. And it's going to ask us, I think, to accept the license terms. Yep, here it is. This is Windows 7 Ultimate. So we'll click the check mark to accept the license terms and then click next. And then we will be doing a custom advanced new copy of windows so we will do this and here is the page for uh what's it called um the partitions for windows to install on so we'll select the first one it needs to be at least 16 gigabytes or more so click next and now it will start the pre-installation process and installing the files. So I'll pause the recording here and then meet you back here when all this is finished up and when it's about to restart. Meet you back here in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we're at 95 now. 96, 97, 98, 99. And we're at 100%, so now it installed the features and the updates, and now it's going to restart so Windows can run properly, so we'll let it do that. So let's let the computer restart. Okay, so now it is restarting, and I'll meet you back here when it's all done restarting and set up. And here we go. It's almost done copying the files. It's just now completing the installation, so I'll meet you back here when this is all done. Okay, so now we are in the install windows now. Uh, we need to type in a username, for example, John. Or and type a computer PC name. So I will do Leo for two. Why is it not typing? Leo four two one. And now you can type a computer name, which I will just do Leo four twenty one PC, and that's how it came out. And then I'll click next. Okay, this is where uh you will be creating a password for your login screen every time you open up your computer or virtual machine. So I'll pause the recording here and then meet you back here when I'm done writing my password. Okay, so now it is asking for the product key. Now, some of us may not have the product key. We click skip right here. We can skip the product key. And now it is going to ask us help protect your computer and improve Windows automatically. We'll just use recommended settings, just like Windows would. And now it's asking us to set the date and time, so we'll select U.S. and Canada, and automatically adjust for daylight saving. And today's January 19th. Click Next. And our computer's current location, I'm going to select Home, or whatever yours happens to be. So I will select Home. And it's going to connect and apply the settings. So we'll let it just do that. And now it's finalizing our settings. Welcome. Now it's preparing our desktop.
So we'll wait as it does. Okay, so I'll pause the recording here and then meet you back here when this is all done because it seems to be taking a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, now Windows has successfully loaded to Windows 7. I hope this information helped you guys out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.